Hi everyone, this is Evil Twin X here again um, on putting together a tool, a lifting tongs to pull these crucibles that I recently purchased out of my foundry uh, and into a pouring shank so I can pour the liquid aluminum out of, out of these. I'm just going to build a basic uh, lifting tongs and uh, I don't know how they're going to turn out. I'm using just scrap metal here, but uh, yeah. This is what we're going to do. Stay tuned. So I found uh, these metal rods around my property. I think they were part of a part of a chain link fence. They're uh, eighth inch thick by inch and a half. And I'm going to plan on uh, making some 90 degree bends, doing a little bit of welding, and seeing if I can put together a nice pair of lifting tongs. So the plan is I'm going to try putting these in here using another smaller vise to really clamp down and hopefully have enough leverage to twist this into a 90 degree uh, without using any heat. I don't have a map or a uh, oxyacetylene setup and I thought about using my uh, my burner from my foundry but uh, I'm out of propane right now so I'm just going to use brute force so I'm going to use a four and a half inch vise to really clamp down and try to twist the bar over and hopefully this will keep the uh, bar from warping too much and I get enough leverage to get a good twist in without any tearing and hopefully it won't be too difficult Wasn't too bad. Nice twist. All right, let's see how they uh, how this works out. So my next step is to shape these to hug the crucible and find that uh, pivot point so I can get really good tight. Scissor action. So I think I'm going to do a slight bend around here and up here. And I think that'll help with the contour of the crucible. So I'm going to just put this in the vise and uh, just do some slight bending. And if I like the way the shape looks, I'll do it to the uh, other side. All right, so it's probably hard to see, but I have some marks here where I, I want to do these slight bends. And I'm just going to use the vise like I did before. Uh, to do these. I don't think I really need to bend it very much so hopefully this won't be too difficult. I'm going to try to use these sheet metal pliers because I find when you can grasp a wide area you're able to control your bend where you want it to bend uh, a lot easier and uh, the rest of the rod or your stock doesn't warp where you don't want it. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Now I just got to do uh, this little part right here. I think for this one I'm going to use this uh, this little double vice trick. It's sort of a, a poor man's adjustable brake. Pretty happy with those. Let me be able to get right under there. Yeah, I think that's good. Now I want to try and mirror the same angles on my uh, other stock.
So, I'm liking how Ben's turned out. Now my next challenge is, what I would like is that when I fully grasp the crucible, my handles come to this position. So I think it's just easier just to be able to grip and pull the crucible out of the furnace. What I might have to adjust a bend or add a bend in, but um, I think I won't know until I pick a, a location for for the uh, rivet to go in. So that'll be my next challenge. But so far, so good. You have to kind of figure out uh, quite a few new angles. Um, and this is what I came up with. And you can see that the center bar lines up with the middle of the crucible. Uh, and just to show you where I was at, those were the original bends. So I didn't have to do too much adjustment, just here and here. And uh, I think that'll, that'll be it. So I'm going to make the bends on the second bar and we'll see how they line up. There it is. Pretty close. Pretty close. I do need to leave a little bit of a gap here because I have these pieces of metal flat stock that I'm going to be welding in and those will uh, I'll curve to hug the crucible in four points and I think this will work. I think this will work really nicely. Mm -hmm.